Okay, I think it's about time we try and tackle the motor mount here. Uh, I've come up with a few options. Let me run them by you and, uh, and see if I can figure out which one's gonna be the best way to go. So we've got two motors for both axes. We're gonna call this X and this Y. The X axis going this way is going to be run on a rack and pinion gear, and the Y axis going this way will be on, a, on either a ball screw or more than likely an Acme thread. Um, and that Acme thread will actually run under here in the middle of this axis. Um, so here, here's kind of what I'm thinking. We could mount one here, and that would be belt driven to the Y axis. And this could sit right on top, and the, uh, the rack gear would go this way, mounted here. The only thing I don't like about this is it sticks out in front of the machine a little too far, and Having this much kind of counter levered off of this, I'm not really happy with. We could beef it up and it would work, but not ideal. So we can mount them here. It still sticks out in front just as much, but it, it kind of squishes the vertical space down a little bit, which I like. Um, not a bad option, I just don't like where these sit. The option I think I might go with, similar to that, is you put one motor here, and one motor here. I like this because it uh, shields the motors from any dust. It's about as protected as it can be. Um, and everything is nice and compact. The downside is that it's really compact. Right now, there's not enough space between this and the support braces here. So we would have to put some spacer blocks here to give us clearance. Uh, the good news though, if we do that, that gives us a little more space to run support brackets down here, which I was planning on doing anyway. Hopefully that's clear. It's probably clear as mud, but um, let me make the spacers and uh, see if that's going to work. Maybe it'll be a bit more clear there. using the broken vise. Yeah. So one of the ways I'm gonna try and take out the warp in the plate is with this mag chuck. Um, I don't think I've ever seen anybody do this before. I'm gonna be welding with the mag chuck on, uh, but I'm using a DC welder, so I shouldn't have any problems demagnetizing the magnet. Um, and of course, it's only got so much strength, but the surface area that I'm using should be enough. So let me see if I can demonstrate uh, just how much warp is in the plate right now. But you'll see the dial indicator go down about 10 thou. So I'm gonna try and take that out with welding. Yeah, I might end up warping it worse because uh, I'm not that great of a welder and controlling the heat, but we'll see.
I'm out of welding gas. I'm not as bad of a welder as I thought I was, I'm just out of shielding gas, so. I'll just run down to the store and grab some, except welding gas places aren't usually open uh, during a hurricane. So this project may have to be put on hold. All right, we've got gas and power again, so let's go back to welding. Alright, here's something you guys can complain about. I'm going to tap the motors, these counter screw bits. I'll show you why in a minute. Alright, so the reason I am tapping these is this is going to be welded to this table with some uh, supports here. I initially had planned to drill and tap that, that's what's logical, and have a screw going through here. Uh, the problem is I can get to these two to tighten them, but there would be no way to tighten these down from the other side. So instead, tighten them from the front into the motor. These, are, these motors really are never going to be bearing much load, so I should be alright.
Okay, so we're using some aluminum spacers here before to give us a little bit more room for the motors. Um, it turns out they're not quite enough and they're really fiddly to put on and off. So what I think I'm gonna do, these and spacers instead. This gives us a little bit more space. Um, I can weld them straight to here so I don't have to worry about alignment when I'm putting them on. And it'll give a little bit more of a strong back for the, uh, uh, the rails on top of it. I think I'm gonna call the episode here. Pretty happy with these motor mounts. Uh, everything's just tacked in place right now, but we'll get it welded up once I know it's gonna work. I know some of you guys might comment about these rails with the, uh, the screws straddling the rails like that. I know it's not ideal. I think it's gonna be just fine though. If it, if it turns out to be a problem, I'll, I'll deal with it then. So hang tight on that. And so next week, I think we're gonna drill a hole through this plate for the belt drive. Uh, we should also be able to mount the uh, the rack for the rack and pinion on the x-axis. Uh, so, looking forward to that. I'll see you guys next week.